You will die when I tell you so. It's alive. It's moving. It's alive. Oh, it's alive. It's alive. It's alive. Hey everyone, this is another video about trying to repair this uh, LCD screen. This is like the third video. And uh, yeah, on the last one, I thought I fixed it, but in fact, three days later, uh, it stopped working again. Well, not really not working, it's more about uh, the um, invert board for uh, powering the CF, uh, CFL tubes uh, for the backlight. So, after I published the video, uh, one of my friends contacted me on Steam and told me it's like, the old LCD uh, using uh, CFL are going to fail uh, all the time because it's not about the power board it's about um, the gas inside the CFL tube uh, takes lots uh, more and more um, energy to start uh, the combustion and lighting so the older the screens get the more power is going to drain to have the uh, CFL tube uh, lighting properly. So that's why the uh, the power board is failing, and that's why the MOSFET the MOSFET keeps uh, burning. It's because uh, the CFL tube is, is drawing too much energy, and the MOSFETs are not designed for this type of current. So one of the solution will be to put uh, MOSFETs, uh, bigger MOSFET to handle this current, but eventually the CFL are still going to die and I'm just pushing the uh, problem uh, a bit uh, a bit uh, year in the future. So one of the solutions is to replace the CFL tube and uh, use a modern uh, technology which is LED. So I bought this kit which is, in fact, not really a tube, but two LED strips, which are rigid, you can see, and they are going to replace both tube on top and the bottom. So, of course, uh, you cannot plug it directly, uh, because this is not the same type of current we are going to need, so the kit is provided with an inverter board here and this is replacing the big one I was working you can check the video uh, on the corner uh, right now so here you're going to plug the two LED strips uh, there on the bottom remove the old inverter board put this one and this going to the main uh, motherboard and I should ha still have a control of the brightness um, so yeah I need to cut those two strips I think on each strips you have to cut it on, on a specific range because it's a group per um, group of three if I remember correctly I will I need to confirm on this kit uh, and then I will just adapt this plug uh, to put on this other board I also need to remove the all the CFL and uh, yes, yeah, so let's do this.
So I uh, solder a new connector. This time I'm using a GST. That should be okay. Uh, I had also to uh, read the service manual to find the pinout of the connector and read behind uh, the inverter board the pinouts and make them matching. So now I should uh, just have to uh, reassemble everything, replug, and it should working. So let's do this. Moment of truth. Yes. So it's it's working. It's some kind of bluish from when I stand, but yes. Ah, this is so cool. I need to close. So, uh, indeed, it is working, uh, but there's some stuff weird uh, going on, especially on the on the menu button. Uh, like if I press menu, it's shut down. And uh, same thing with the brightness. So I don't know what's going on. Uh, we'll try to uh, debug and uh, I will come you uh, come back uh, when I have more information. So uh, see you. Uh, I don't know when. So jump cut. So it was just a few minutes and uh, as you can see now it's working. It's just uh, a problem with the ribbon because I've unplugged and replugged so much. Uh, the contact on the edge of the ribbon is. Uh, getting off and some are broken so it's somehow working now uh, but uh, yeah as you can see and now it is the real moment of truth is can I change yes it's working so now it's working perfectly
So I don't know if uh, I'm going to change the ribbon because right now if I close everything is going to work. Uh, of course the auto is working. It's still kind of bluish. Uh, I will try to calibrate it. But uh, yeah, as you can see, this is really homogen. Uh, homogen? I don't know if... Uh, uh, it's, it's really even. So as you can see, it's really even. Uh, I still have some dark here. I don't know if it's, this is because I'm getting at the end of the strips because sometimes uh, when uh, uh, you have only one side, it's uh, losing power uh, when you're getting on the end. I know this border was always kind of dark, but anyway, this is way much better than the, the CFL tubes. So yeah, sometimes you won't have access like this model on uh, as easily I, I, I was uh, to the CFL tubes. Sometimes you will have to really open completely the the, the frame uh, and have access to the panel and uh, remove the, the CFL tube and replace with the LED strips. But anyway, this is basically uh, the method. I hope you like it. Uh, thanks for watching and see you soon.